All right, homies, what's up? Welcome back to Zelda. Guys, let's hit up our amiibos while we listen to beautiful piano music. Now, I'm actually not sure that it's been 24 hours since we did this last. It's probably been pretty damn close. We might be right on the edge. So let me see if it'll let me access this. Nice. Looks like it has been long enough. Okay. Let's see what garbage it'll give us today. Okay, that's... Eh. That's an okay boomerang. I don't know if I have any that I would replace it with. Uh, no. I don't even think I care to take that, honestly. It's not as good as the ones I have. <laughs> I should probably start using them up. They're starting to stack up. Alright. I don't need Ganondorf I have something for us. More topaz. All right, I'm starting to sense a theme here, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that wolf over there is just staring at me like, should I make a move? Do I dare? You gotta ask yourself, punk. Do you feel lucky today? You shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't, because now you are dead. Alright guys, so you know what's going on right now. We're going to keep moving in the direction of the 8th heroine statue. See if we can't get there. Now guys, this may end up being an even shorter video than yesterday. It's a pretty busy week for old Long Couch. Mostly good stuff though, I'll tell you. You know, uh, I actually have a couple friends whose birthdays fall right around the same time, so we've been doing some celebrating, some drinking. That's taking up time. I also have some medical stuff going on. My ongoing back and leg issues that I've mentioned before. I may be getting that taken care of this week. I hope to God. Because I'm tired of my leg feeling like it's on fire. And my life will be a lot better if I can get it fixed. It'll be good for me, good for my channel. I'm actually really excited about that. I hope it goes the way I want. But no matter how busy I get, I just can't forget about you guys. I love making these videos. I'm still trying to get that daily content out in Zelda. So here I am. Doing my thing. Running for the statue. And of course, as always, we'll pick off any Koroks and Shrines we find along the way. What the hell is that noise? What is that noise? What is going on right now, guys? Do you hear that? Is that in the game or freaking real life? Like, <laughs> oh, it was one of those deals. Freaking Octorok was like, just been running up against the wall trying to reach me. Just like glitched out a little bit. So how come this meat hasn't frozen? The other meat that I just picked up a second ago did freeze, and that stuff doesn't. Holy shit, dragon! 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 Oh man, he's really high up there. I don't know if I can reach him right now, but I should try. I should try as hard as I can. Uh... Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get something specific, but maybe I can at least get just like a regular ass scale if I'm real lucky, if I'm real good. No, no. How about that? Okay, that'll work. I was going to try and shoot the claw, but I couldn't quite aim that way. And I think I just took a buttload of damage falling because I wasn't paying attention. But that's okay. That's okay. I know I left like three chests behind, guys. But this thing up here is ultimately going to be way more important than a chest. I need to make sure I find it. <sighs> Actually, it's going to be hard to find because I couldn't see the exact spot where it landed. And it doesn't really have a marker. Fuck! I know it landed up on this ridge somewhere. I mean, I think it's just a regular ass scale. It's not the end of the world if I don't find it, but I would really like to, honestly. Ah, uh, that's not gonna stick out with any of my powers, is it? Any of the old rune powers? Why'd I have to go land in such a dumb spot? That really screwed me. <laughs> Maybe it's up a little higher? Well, 
Well, here's a Korok at least. No! Oh, wow, that was a trick! That was a really dirty trick! <laughs> wow, this is the first time I've seen something like that. That's kind of hilarious, honestly. How many did I get with that? Yeah, I got like three or four of them. It's not bad. Damn it. I wonder how long those scales stick around in the overworld if you don't pick them up. I figure at some point they gotta despawn, right? I don't really know when, though. Alright, come on, jerks. There you go. There you go. They're just trying to distract me from the hunt right now, guys. And it's working. Because now I also spied this down here. And I need it. I have a drill shaft, right? Yeah. Damn it. I didn't want to spend an entire episode looking for a dragon scale. <laughs> I don't know how much time I can really devote to this right now, guys. Um, yeah, the Guardian's alive. I figured at least one of them would be. Are you really going to try and shoot me from all the way back there? I wonder if I'm good enough to get... A deflection off from way over here. Oh, Billy! I feel like I got lucky on that one, honestly. That, like, ruined his aim, too. <laughs> he just gave up. Oh, there he is. Yeah! How many more would it take? None. He's done. He's done. Fuck him. So I think right there, we were far back enough that it was not super duper challenging again. If you're like in the middle, like a middle length distance, that's where it gets really hard. Because that timing is just not something you're used to. Okay. I guess there's an easy way to check these, isn't there? Yeah, the rest of these guys are dead. Excellent. Um... Hmm, that's not a Korok, but that's an avenue of attack. Hold on, there's like... There's like seven different things drawing my attention right now. Yeah, that dragon scale's gone, guys. <laughs> I thought it was up on that cliff right there, but it's not, and, uh... I've kind of lost the thread. That's unfortunate, but, eh, what are you gonna do? You're gonna wait until another dragon shows up, and you're gonna shoot him. And you're gonna hopefully do a better job. I do kind of want to just make a circuit over here, though. See if, like, it just appears magically. Why are there so many goddamn chests in this area? I say that like it's a bad thing. Like, why are they inconveniencing me with all these chests I have to open? I mean, it's kind of an inconvenience, because I really want to open all of them, but it takes time, guys. Takes time away from other things. I swear to God, there's just like there's a chest every square ten feet of this region, and I don't know why. Like, what about this place made them want to just stick so many chests here? Why just this place, not anywhere else? That I found. <laughs> Look at it. It never ends. Oh, wow. That's actually a pretty good pickup. Do I have a Royal Halberd right now? No, but I have this Gerudo Spear. Which is not nearly as good. So I will replace that. Perfect. Okay, so let's just stand up here and see if any twinkles catch my eye. I am not seeing a twinkle that would denote a dragon scale, guys. If you see it, be sure to light me up in the comments for it. But otherwise, that thing is gone. Hmm. Okay. Well, it is what it is. We're going to keep moving. I figure at some point... We're really gonna have to, like, oh shit, oh shit. 
why is there an explosive barrel falling down that hill right there? Actually, that would have been awesome. If I had a fire arrow equipped, I could have blown it up and probably caught the wolves in it. That actually would have been really nice. I wasn't ready, though. I was like, what's going on? That must have been one of those deals where, like, the physics of the game! Ah, oh, you little bitch. You got me. You got me, though. That was good. Let's get off my golden bow. Fuck off, wolves. Are you kidding me right now? Leave me alone. I'm trying to get revenge on this asshole Octorok. He vanished too. <laughs> He's like, I got my one single hit in. Now I will retreat and live to fight another day. Kind of surprised there aren't more of those things, honestly. With all the chests in here, you'd think they'd just sprinkle in yeah, an Octorok here, an Octorok there. Keep you on your toes. I think it's the first one I found, though. Really? What the hell do you want? You are useless. You don't even give me loot that I really care about anymore. Alright, and then we got an updraft over here. Why? I don't know. Let's see if something becomes apparent as to why we would care about having an updraft here. God, look at that view, guys. Look how much land you can see from up here. That's so tight. Oh, that's tight. I see a yellow glow over there. Hold up. Okay, so we can kind of ride this over here and catch this one. Bring that over to the Korok. What is that yellow glow? That almost looks like a freaking star fragment, but there wouldn't be one in the middle of the day, would there? Unless that's the dragon scale. Do they glow like that? I'm actually not sure. What is this, though? This looks like a different kind of Korok puzzle. I can't pick these up. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're going to have to come back to that. I'm actually... Oh, there's another one here. Okay, that's the puzzle to solve. But first... Oh, hey, look! It's that shrine quest! I didn't realize we were in that area. Yeah! It's the part with the lightning arrow thing. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to have to, like, shoot that with a shock arrow. I haven't actually confirmed that. That was just the impression I got when we picked up that quest. So, wow. Okay. Hold on, guys. Hold on. First things first, why is this area glowing? Is this it? For real? Oh my god. Wait, that was Farash that I shot? I thought it was Nadra. I feel like there's some monkey business going on here, because first of all, it did not land this far away. Unless I'm just completely out of my mind. It didn't land that far away, guys. And secondly, I'm pretty sure that wasn't Farash. I'm pretty sure that was Nadra. I don't know. Whatever, guys. I guess the ultimate point is, I have a dragon scale now. <laughs> the scales have been balanced. Literally? Kinda? In a way? Go away, wolves. Don't have time for you. I don't know why that one took so- Oh! Oh, there we go. I've been waiting for that to happen. <laughs> I've been waiting for one of these chests to roll downhill and just smack me in the face. I knew it was bound to happen at some point. Okay, so this. We have to take a rock from here and move it down there. We want to match the symbol, so we want to remove this one here and add it to the end of this row right about here. Got it! Awesome. That's cool. That's a neat little twist on the typical Korok rock puzzle formula. I should like more like that. Most of them are just, you know, complete the circle. That one, 
required just the tiniest amount of brain power. <laughs> Which is like perfect for a Korok puzzle. They shouldn't be ball bustingly hard. But I wouldn't complain if they did take a little more brain power than usual. Okay, so. I need to come in here and I need to look at my shrine quests. Cliffside etchings. Gaggle at the Tabantha Bridge Stable thinks that a certain section of the cliff face in the distance looks man-made. Just what could be hiding there? So that actually doesn't give us any kind of indication whatsoever of what we're supposed to be doing here. But this seems pretty self-evident, so I'm going to try this. We'll put a shock arrow right in the middle, I guess? Okay, yep. <laughs> This is pretty cool, guys. I didn't actually plan on doing this, but I'm glad that I just kind of ran into it by chance. <laughs> we can mop it up. Clear up another shrine quest, get it out of the way. Add one more to the counter. Cliffside etchings. Okay. Kiha Yug Shrine. These names are starting to get ridiculous, guys. And this one's a gimme, right? Because it was a shrine quest that was so hard to figure out. All the brain power we had to expend on that one, guys. Hey, I'll take a diamond. Alright. Definitely worth the trip, though. You have done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. And that's another four, isn't it? Boom shakalaka! We are about to get another heart, guys. Alrighty. Got that out of the way. I just want to really stand here and admire this view for a second, guys. I know, like, we're on a kind of a time crunch here, but <laughs> this game is about moments like this for me personally. I just love this. All the land you can see, although it's getting a little foggy as twilight draws near, so it's actually kind of hard to make out the fine details. It's ruining my my view, guys. And actually, I'll just flame sword this bro. Yeah. They're hard to hit that first time, but pretty easy after the fact. Look at all that blue though, guys. Blue shrines, blue towers. We have conquered so much of this game. It's crazy to think exactly how far we've come. Oh look, it's clearing up a little bit. That is awesome. What's that right there? That little mountain. What? Oh, you little fucker. I'm trying to have a moment here, Octorok. Is that okay with you? Do you mind? I've also just remembered, guys, so right around this area here, we had a shrine quest for the Thundra Plateau. And we also found Cass at one of these mushroom-topped trees right here. Now, I was kind of assuming that he was just going to give us that shrine quest for the Thundra Plateau if we actually talked to him. At the time, I couldn't actually get to him because I had a crappy stamina wheel and it was raining, so I just gave up trying to reach him. And um, he probably was just going to give us that... Thunder Plateau Shrine Quest, but I should probably go confirm that at some point. Because it could be connected to something entirely different. I actually don't have a way of knowing right now. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, back up, son. Back up. <laughs> that was like an execution. I put him on the edge. <laughs> uh, he's dirty. I wonder if I should climb all the way up top there. I probably should. Since we're already up this far anyway. Let's just get to the very top. There's probably a Korok up there, right? That'd be my guess. Also, I didn't really take note of this when I first donned the snow boots, but it seems like they give us the same kind of cold resistance as the regular snow cool boots. So that's actually pretty nice. 
Of course, we missed out on the set bonus, but at least it still keeps us warm. <sighs> Done it. Crested the mountain. Chill shrooms, hearty truffles. No Korok, though. At least none that I can suss out. Now, hold on. We're not at the very tippy top yet. We're not at the highest altitude. This is kind of a lonely place up here. It's very barren. Except for this guy. I wonder if I could sneak in snow boots. Now nah, he sees me. <laughs> but he sucks. Every time they try to do that jump attack, they just suck, guys. Okay. Let's keep moving this direction. How far are we? Okay, we're pretty close. I think we can get to the statue in this video, and that'll probably be how I wrap it up. Unless I run into 18 distractions like I did 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but no, nah, this place looks pretty deserted, honestly. I'm kind of surprised I don't see a Lionel up here. Oh, hello. How are you guys doing? You just tried to hit me with your bony fists. I don't appreciate it. Ow! God damn it. See, I'd love to be able to like line these guys up and kill them all with one three-shot arrow, but I'm just not that good. <laughs> It does allow you to be a little bit looser with your aim, though. Because that last shot that I fired there, that was not a dead-on headshot. <laughs> I straight up missed that dude. But the right arrow caught him. Oh, you little fuck. I see you. Yeah, now what? I hope you're the same one who got me before. I mean, you're probably not, but hopefully you're related to him or something. Kill you and your dad or mom or whoever the fuck it was. Here's a Korok. Please go in the direction I want. You're gonna go in this direction. That's not too bad. Oh, there's a shrine down there, too. Oh, we gotta do it, guys. We have to hit the shrine. It's required. And a Korok! God damn it. 18 distractions. What'd I tell you guys? Yeah, ha ha. Fantastic. What am I? Okay. I thought I was free falling for a second there. <laughs> I was like, game, don't do this to me. Please, game. Whoa, I just got a prompt to pick this dude up. Seriously? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that we could pick up pebblets. I guess we can't pick these guys up because they're icy. But regular pebblets, can we seriously just pick them up? Oh, god damn it. I just owned myself. <laughs> the champion who owned himself. The legend. Okay. This one's tricky. Which one has the block that we're picking up? It's not here. Is it all the way down there? Will I be able to... I'll be able to lift it up here, won't I? I have to go kill those guys and take the block. Wow. Wow. I was just trying to course correct a little bit. <laughs> and I ended up way overcompensating. Yes, I know there's a shrine nearby. Thank you. Okay. Actually, I never really knew we could just pick these up with our hands either, guys. It's kind of news to me. <laughs> Although, that's a little slow. Really? Okay. All the way up there. Please do not tumble down the hill and be lost forever. That would make me very sad. Oh, wow. We actually have a lot of range with this. That's crazy. Look at that. Okay. Now. This one is tricky. I don't like the look of this at all. Although... Oh, fuck off. I thought I just had the solution. <laughs> okay, are you done? Can I do the thing now? 
after I take all this stuff. Okay. So there's a lot of blocks in this puzzle here, but it looks like the solution actually lies in the most prominent place. So I think it's going to be right in here. Just gotta make it happen. Why does the block always tilt when I try to push it in here? Like, if you just stand here and hold it right in front of you, it levels out perfectly. But then, like, as soon as you try and squeeze it in, it just tilts. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, guys. So, here's my plan. I actually really am running out of time here. It's been so long since I did this. Right, we want to zoom in and place a pin. It's so hard to see this right now. There it is. Got it. Green pin is the shrine. I'm actually going to come back to that. Dragon, are you back? Oh, you little fuck. You little fuck. Okay, this is Farage. Maybe it was Farage that I shot last time. I'm honestly not sure. Okay, I'm gonna try and hit the claw. There we go. Ah, gah, 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 gah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, guys. Oh my god, look how far it's going. Oh, it's so far away. Come back. Come back, I think you're a new item. A claw that I did not have before. Yeah! Farash's Claw. This claw was plucked from the Golden Spirit Farash. Its electricity was expelled before it was removed, so it's safe to handle. A store will buy it, but it must have some other use. What that could be? I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't quite figured that out yet. Yeah, that surprises me, guys. So that definitely was Farash. Uh, I just didn't expect him to be up in this area. Honestly. It greatly surprised me. But it's all good. Okay. So, my plan was to go back to the statue since we're so close to it. In fact, I think if we just run in this direction. I just want to end this video by finding that and taking the damn picture. Get distracted by 80,000 enemies and 30,000 chests along the way. Great. Okay, all you guys can go to hell. I'm running. I'm running this way now. <laughs> this is over. So yeah, we're gonna get over here and get this statue taken care of, guys. And then in the next video, we will come back and do that shrine straight away. And... Yep, another trap. Little fuckers. It's a real chest, though. Alright, I'm not gonna mess with it right now. And there she is. Statue of the 8th Heroine. Easy peasy, guys. Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. So. Will this count? Yep, yeah, looks like that'll count right there. I was going to say we could get like a full body shot, but he seemed to really only be concerned with the upper torso. So. And we should just come look down here. We'll have to climb the whole way back up, but yeah. I wanted to see if there was anything down here. Amber, rock salt, any kind of chest or weapon or anything. Actually, we can just fly right back up, can't we? Well, we can fly part of the way back up. <laughs> we'll be able to climb that, no problem. I ain't too worried about it. What else is down here? Ooh, this would be a really fun shield surfing spot. Yeah, but that's not the way I want to go right now. <laughs> All right, guys, when we come back, we'll fly back up there, take care of all the crap that's waiting for us up there, and hit that shrine, and then go from there. Thank you for the support, guys. Much appreciated. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I'll catch you in the next part. See ya.